You pieces of shit, remember where we left off? Uh, no. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Not really. <laughs> All right. You, you fought through the weird amusement park to get to where Chibity Crockett's Manor is in oh my God. on the oh, island of right. Florida. And you met Chibity Crockett. Uh, he's in. He's wearing a, like a pink bathrobe and pink uh, fuzzy slippers and seems uh, otherwise to be in his underwear and slightly drunk. But he invited you in for drinks and uh, you guys kind of convinced him, kind of, to hear you out uh, where you made your cases that you guys are the, 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 the next hope, the only hope to save America from the hands of mm. Beth Jesus, Amazonic. And the Disney Amazon Plus Prime Pro, whatever that was. I'm starting to remember now. Wasn't he hot? Yeah, he was very hot. He's kind mm -hmm. of hot in a silver fox kind of way, but yeah, very hot. Um, cool. he, he told you guys he'd think about it and left you guys crash in his living room. You guys went to sleep, you know, eventually after finding a comfortable enough place somewhere in the living room. And you are awoken by Chibity banging a pan with another pan. Thank God he was banging a pan. I, I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crossover episode, obviously. <laughs> yeah, banging a pan. Uh, two ends, the character. No, um, <laughs> hitting uh, two pans together to wake all of you up. Oh, my God. Rise and shine and bright. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, oh, God. You wanted to get trained. We're going to do some training. Right Do you now? have iced coffee? No coffee, only water. He hands you all bottled water. <laughs> I don't like the taste of water. It makes me vomit. It does something weird to my stomach. <laughs> you down that right now here and now, Sonny. But it'll make me sweat. Are we going to do some warm-up stretches or something? <sighs> yeah, we're warm up, all right? And we got to okay. get to work. We don't have much time to whip you guys into shape. You got it. Now that you've kind of uh, put yourself together, he is wearing uh, red, white, and blue striped boxing shorts along with a tank top in uh, also matching red, white, and blue uh, USA across his chest. That's funny. I'm wearing USA whitey tighties. <laughs> oh, cool. We're wearing the same thing. Hey, you guys are matching. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Jimmy? Ew. What? <sighs> yeah. Sure, it's 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 that's fine. Get dressed, get changed. Everyone, get into something you can work <laughs> out in. You too, manager. Why, why do I have to work out? Um, but he is easily <laughs> he's easily corralled into joining you guys. Yeah, it's not hard to get Lewis Noodles to do anything. <laughs> you are all uh moved out into the front lawn of this manor. And are all given uh, brooms, shovels, hoes, uh, shears for trimming bushes, and put to work doing manual labor in front of the house. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, okay. So, like, this isn't going to work because, like, I went to my celebrity manicurist, like, not that long ago. And if I break a nail, I will scream. Tough work and training doesn't care about your nails. Yeah, I, I don't know. My methods of training might seem a bit odd to you, but... No, I've seen Karate Kid. This is just like Karate Kid. I, I get it. Yeah, he gets it. He's seen Karate Kid. You know, Karate Kid did a lot to inspire my own TV show that you all probably grew up on. The, uh, the Chibity Crockett Show? Yeah? I love the Chibity Crockett Show. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like the actor they got to play you. He's way buffer. <laughs> yeah. Almost grotesquely buffer. <clears throat> I actually grew up without TV. My parents raised me on like one of these like organic farm things. Like you could some people might think it's like a commune, but like I like to think we just like really were into each other and like peace and shit. <laughs> Look. All right, fine. Look, the <laughs> point is it's it's training by doing hard work and discipline. Look, it, it's trust me, okay? It'll work. I, won't that only make you like tone in a way that like 80s action heroes were toned? Yes, and that's the exactly kind of tone we need to be. I want to be toned like a like a Michael Phelps. I mean Neo Michael mm. Phelps. 
He wants that <laughs> swimmer's body. He's uh he's peaching his brow. All right, everyone get to work now. <laughs> okay, but like what do you want me to do? He hands you a hoe. <laughs> What she look like? <laughs> oh my God, Rusty! I swear to God. <laughs> I grab a broom. All right, uh, Lewis grabs some shears and starts trimming bushes, grumbling. I'm just sweeping the grass. <laughs> Am I making like a garden? Like, uh, yeah, there there are like uh, flower beds that have like dead stuff in them that need to be hoed, basically. I'm brushing all the stuff, all the dirt in the flower bed. <laughs> Chibity comes over and grabs you and redirects you to brushing the sidewalk. Ow. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> okay. Come You're on. You're lucky I grew up kind of doing this. <sighs> Look, you guys want to win or not? Chibity, my nipples are chafing. Um, I'll go inside and get some band-aids. Get the extra large. Just get a bunch of band-aids. I'll just, uh, they're big nipples. Here. Here, let me see. I've got some nuke lube for you. Here, I'll rub it right on. Hey, wait, you. I have some of those, like, n nipple covers. Do, do you think if I <laughs> gave you some of my pasties, that would help? Uh, they need to be really big pasties. I mean. Oh, wow, he's got, like, those I big old baloney you. nipples. <laughs> baloney nipples. All right, so if Clayton is brushing and Tamitha is hoeing, uh, Rusty, what are you doing? <laughs> What's left? <laughs> Uh, there's nothing left. That's all the job. Yard chores. To do. Yard That's chores. All. Yard chores. Think of them. Think of yard chores. Like yard Let's chores. See. Zach wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come I'm on, sorry. man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, be real here. <laughs> you can rake. You can dig up dead trees. You can you can I, cover up badger I'm holes. I'm raking. I'm raking leaves, and Nuke is just eating grass while wearing a headband that matches mine. And shitting grass. And he's shitting. Fertilizing. Hey, Got save it. that. That'll be good yeah. compost. Yeah. I'm going to start brushing the shit. Just don't brush the <laughs> shit. Don't do that. Uh, Richard, Richard Woodbury, what about you? Well, if my job is to hoe, I guess I will be hoeing. You can hoe as well. I guess. Hoes I'm, for life. Hoes for life. <laughs> Guys, I, uh, before he gets back, uh, look, we, I don't know how much time we exactly we have. I don't know if this is the type of training. Or how we came to him for, you know, you know, how much can like one or two days max help us out? My arms burn. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Yeah, noodles. What if I? What if? What if this is the the secret? I mean, he did do all that stuff. I, I'm just yeah. skeptical. Is all. Uh, I think we should just trust the process. I think this is like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt's book that they wrote together about like the secrets of friendship and working together. This is like a chapter. Oh, We're I like love that bonding. Book. Yeah, I know. I lent it to you. Don't you remember? We're strengthening the bonds of friendship, and we will grow stronger from it. That's right, Nuke. That's, That's right, right. Nuke, baby. Uh, how, how, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Wait, how? did you guys hear him too? <laughs> Wait a second. Y'all can hear him talk too? <laughs> I'm his lawyer. I represent him. <laughs> oh, That's Yeah, we've true. been hearing him talk this whole time. What do you mean? Okay, I'm, I'm not crazy. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. <laughs> what? You thought you were crazy this whole time? <laughs> no, I thought a, I thought a horse was really talking to everybody. <laughs> That's way more sensible. <laughs> That's okay. Charlie Puth gave me a contact for like a guy who like helps you heal your like things. It'll be good. Uh, okay. You guys continue your chores, uh, cleaning windows uh, after you finish the garden, moving uh, decisively more and more to the interior of the manor, patching shingles on the roof, uh, boarding up broken windows. Um, polishing and uh, shining, uh, you know, windows that are not broken, uh, correcting shutters. Uh, the the list of chores in this downtrodden uh, Floridian manor seems endless. And eventually, at the end of a very, very, very long day, you find yourselves doing chores in the kitchen, washing dishes, mopping the floor, throwing out rotten food in the fridge and pantry, and organizing the expansive liquor cabinet by a mixture of alphabetical and alcohol percentage. Ah, these are all 200 proof. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to organize these alcohols by taste. 
that one's good. <laughs> All right. Chibity that one's uh, less good. walks by, now no longer in his uh workout gear. He's back in the the fluffy uh the the, the fluffy robe and and pink slippers. He is uh drinking a beer. He cracks it open uh, while looking at you guys. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Perfect training. Uh, you'll be there in no time. He downs the beer in one massive gulp as he tilts it back, crushes it, and throws it at the trash can, misses it falling onto the floor that Tamitha was mopping before he begins to leave the room. <laughs> I, I think I was right, guys. I mean, maybe... What if... What if Jeff Bezos pulls out a, a mini game or something where we have to alphabetize alcohol by proof? I, I, I don't think Beth Bezos is going to do that. I, I think <laughs> Chimney Crockett is using us for cheap, for, cheap free labor. He's wasting our time. Well, what makes you think that, really? This was a mistake. I'm no. sorry, guys. He's the hero that America needed. We Z wouldn't do that. He's that would be like I don't know, fucking Clint Eastwood being an asshole. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, come on now, Clayton. You might like being a little housewife, but I don't. And I did my fair share of chores back on the old tugboat, so I, I it does bring back memories. How is Richard coping with chores? Richard is absolutely enjoying chores because they're coming from his idol, his hero. So anything he says, Richard's going to do. He's taking them well, then. I assume he's he's all prettied up, has like an apron, is, is working really hard. The gloves, the hair tied back. The apron, the gloves, I mean, the work boots, whatever he tells me to wear, I'll wear a dress around this motherfucker. It's Jiminy fucking Crockett. Jesus Christ. All right, down bad. <laughs> There's a ring at the doorbell, and Chib you hear Chibity from somewhere deep in the manor say, I'll get it. You guys just keep on working. Uh, you... a fucking doorbell? We had to fucking kill a shit ton of robots to get in this bitch. <laughs> you, you, you killed them all, what so the there's fuck? just a doorbell now. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you hear him step down the staircase. Uh, you know, the staircase groaning a bit here and there as you guys continue to bicker amongst yourselves about the virtue of these chores. He, uh, you hear Chibity open the door. Hello? Suddenly, Noodles gets a message on his phone and he looks it up. Uh, get down? Question mark? Should you want me to play dance? some music? <laughs> All right, let's get down. Suddenly, there's a hell of gunfire that tears through every window in the house. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, oh shit. Tamitha said she would get down, so uh, she doesn't have to roll. Uh, what? <laughs> I want to say it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, man. let's roll. It's been a while. It's been a while since it's been we a rolled while. in it's this been a game. While. It's been a while. It has been a while since we rolled in this game. Yeah, so it's just a D6 system with the... What's a D6? Uh, What's a, a system? It's a... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a singular D6, and you... Well, it's, it's actually not how many D6s. It's a, you describe what you're doing. How do you, you describe? Get you get a single D6 for each, like, like, facet of your description. That is a juicy facet. I'll tell you how many dice. And then uh, how you decide you're doing it tells you what counts as a, uh, as a success, whether or not it's your motivation, your action, your profession, or even your weakness. And that will tell you uh, what your success is. If you just do a default roll, uh, only ones and twos are successes. But if you somehow relate it to your profession, your action, or your motivation, th those have their own levels of success. So for example, profession is one, two, and three are hit. Uh, action one two three and four are hits and motivation one two three four and five are hits okay adam so i want to prove i'm not a loser but the jiminy crockett instead of my mom so i do really really good on the chores <laughs> this isn't about the chores this is about <laughs> diving for cover when being shot at I'm so into the chores, I don't even know I'm getting shot at. So I'm using this as I like an this. opportunity to dodge. I like this. I like this. All right. Uh, I'll give you four dice, and, and you can have your motivation trait. Prove you're not a loser. I got a five, three, two, one. 
So that's four hits. All right, yeah, you're fine. The bullets just tear around you while you uh, do chores. Maybe you have your AirPods in. Professional, not a loser. Clayton. I want to quickly yell, Neo or Alexa, activate home defense body shields. Really quickly, before really the bullets quickly. Yeah, but wouldn't through. Neo or Alexa be a product of Beth Jezos? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what, are you going to deactivate it? I mean... I guess quite if you, possibly. If you're paying for the subscription, okay, it's a gel broke Alexa. That means it's even better. Mm hmm. <laughs> no ads. No ads. <laughs> no ads. <laughs> it's way faster. Um, I feel like that would also invoke make my family proud because that's like a suburban dad thing to do. Home defense, you know. I'll say home defenses for sure. Yeah, give me, uh, give me three, three die, three d six. There you go. Uh, that's two successes of three. Um, yeah, so you yell that and you hear the ancient groanings of a defense system in this building kind of come to life as they, uh, as <laughs> certain shut windows begin to have metal shutters fall over them and you hear certain doors lock, but you can tell the system isn't quite cared for as much as it should be. Um, nice. And so the defense is not complete in places. But yeah, you otherwise escape harm. Tamitha, how are you escaping this hail of gunfire? You, I, well, I said you dodge. Never mind. Fuck that. Yeah, you, I you said just, I got down. You just do it because you're not an idiot. <laughs> Rusty. Yeah, I have a lot of So when we heard get down, Nuke and I started performing our signature dance routine. But Nuke could hear the soldiers approaching with his horse ears. And so right at that moment in our dance routine where he dips me, he says, Take cover, Rusty. And he slides me across the room and underneath the nearby furniture. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to say that's like four die. And also, <laughs> uh, you'll be rolling with uh, Rodeo Cowboy. Because I feel like dancing and doing tricks with your horse falls under Rodeo Cowboy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Possibly not so. that way, but I do feel like it is the vibe. It's, the, it's, it's unconventional, but it's, it's Rodeo style. So you're looking for threes and unders are successes. Okay, fuck yeah. I rolled a one. Well, four dice. Four dice, Zach! Oh, shit, shit. You can, four you can, D6s. You can keep that one. Just roll three. Yeah, okay, all right. I'll roll three more. I, I got one, a two, a three, and a six. All right, the six fails. Everything else is a success. So you avoid all the okay. bullets. Congratulations. Woohoo! All right, Lewis Noodles uh, jumps into the sink. Um, it's a wide trot trot sink. He curls it's a up. very small sink. It's it's a trot. It's a farmhouse sink. sink office. Perfect yeah. for Lewis. He he jumps into the sink and begins screaming <laughs> as bullets begin to to rip through the house at almost presumably every angle. And then they all stop all of a sudden, and there's quiet. And then you begin to hear people climbing in through the windows and stepping through the house, and the chatter of silent comms chat. I take my new AirPods out. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that the, the kitchen is a mess now and everything you've done to fix anything has been destroyed and Lewis Noodles is in the sink next to where you were doing dishes. I just washed those fucking dishes, Noodles. <laughs> He's knocking them all onto the floor. He, he yells at you, get down. Get down. <laughs> There's guys with guns here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. You can hear that there are like hurried footsteps as multiple operatives begin to close in through the house into where the kitchen is. Lewis, stay in the sink. There's people here. <laughs> he just does. He just, yeah, he, he's not going to argue with you on that. Yeah, Lewis, who is in the sink, stay in it. <laughs> Stop saying that. Stay in the sink and be quiet. I pull out my musket bayonet. Yes. I find the nearest guy and I charge. You charge him. Roll for your charge. Describe it to me. Your valiant effort. Like I said, I pull it out. I, where's the nearest guy coming from? Like through one of the doors? Is it coming through a window? Oh, yeah. He's he's decided to just open the kitchen side door and come in through there. But he had a bit of like Whoa. a carport to go in through. So he opens the door. I see him. I say, intruders, how dare thee? And I rush at him and try to stab him. All right. Um, I will say that it's four dice. Give me a uh, uh, motivation roll. So that's a five and under our successes. Uh, six, six, five, two. 
There's two successes. All right. Uh, you stab him, but he opens fire into the room, uh, which is going to reduce your stamina by one. Or increase it by one. Never mind. Sorry, you count up in this system. All right. Uh, yeah. So the rest of you, uh, yeah, a guy just kind of came in with a gun into the side door of the kitchen and Richard rushed him with the bayonet and stabbed him in the shoulder. And then the guy opened fire like point blank with all of you guys. Your ears are ringing severely as as, as you now have uh, a good visual on your assailants. Uh, they are dressed in a grayish blue uniform with boots that go up to their knees. They are wearing gas masks that have shielded eyes and full coverage helmets. They have a tactical plate vest of some sort with a various assortment of uh, grenades and magazines hanging off of them and assault rifles at arms to bear, pistols on their sides. On their arms is a logo, a logo that you all recognize. The logo of the Greyhound Train Bus Company. Golf. What? Oh, Wasn't expecting God. that. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun. Wasn't expecting them. <laughs> well, well, you... <laughs> yeah, you, you, I thought they were a one and done. You kind of you kind of <laughs> fucked over their business and their train and killed a lot of people and then also handed over a lot of secret details to their competitors, the Union Pacific Bus Train Company. Man, corporations hate us. I bet we're real popular on Twitter. Uh, Damn. You might actually be the most popular people on the internet right now. Hell yeah. I hope That's not. Yeah. That's I want God to awful. cut a hole in the carpet and start shoving my body into it. <laughs> the attempt is later in another <laughs> action. I will be like the trimmers worm but with carpet. <laughs> Oh yeah. You there can you just go. you can just you can just jump to that. You are gonna rip a hole in the carpet and go under the carpet and attack people. I will let you do okay. that. Describe that in full, please. Okay. Like in full, <laughs> like I cut open the carpet. I I'm naked at this point. Mm -hmm. And I start shoving my sweaty luby body yes. into the hole of the carpet where I will then become the trimmer's worm. And <laughs> there's probably a couch and some furniture in my path. I'm just going to plow through that <laughs> and grab the nearest guy breaking in. How are you grabbing him from under the carpet? Mm -hmm. Are you ripping through the carpet? Or you <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to just my head's going to come out and I'm going to bite him and I'm going to try to bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm going to try to bring him into the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me give me five die. Um, and then that's going to be uh, four and under for successes. If that is nothing but crawling demon style. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> four. Oh, four. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you slither your way up to him, uh, coming out with, uh, with with your head. You bite down on his upper inner thigh. The guy screams, <laughs> mildly firing his gun into the ceiling, and you begin to retract into the carpet. You pull him along with you. Uh, he's clawing back at his friends, yelling, Help me! John! John, help me! <laughs> As you pull him under the carpet. The terror from the Midwest, indeed. There's nothing but a submachine gun left on the floor where he was and a large writhing ball under the carpet of the living room. <laughs> can I get to like, am I, can I get to some sort of cover or is that the end? Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're in, that enough? <laughs> you're in the fucking carpet. They can't fucking see you. Yeah, I'm invisible. Yeah, he's under the carpet. <laughs> all right, all right. It's that um, deep shag carpet. Tamitha, let, let me hear it. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So I reach into my handbag and I um as a also an influencer obviously um on social media I get sent a lot of things and they had this like girly gadgets promo and so I have like all of these makeups inspired by like totally spies and like Y2K mm -hmm. and so I pull out my compact that actually has like i mean i'm going all like totally spies scooby-doo on you right now all right and there's like this it's almost like a netting that kind of like it'll go it'll spring out and it'll like surround people and like capture them 
I see. Okay. Immobilizing them. And so um, I have that. And then I also have one, like a lipstick that turns into a grappling hook. And I decide to go for the compact because the net thing seems kind of cool right now. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to like open up the compact, obviously check my complexion and make sure that I look flawless as I do this. And then I'm going to press a little button underneath the makeup part and it's going to release the net on the guys. Oh, okay. There are like groups of guys coming in from like the opening of the kitchen from the hallway. Um, I'm going to follow this under beach violence and give you the maximum number of dice six because that was very detailed. Thank you. Uh, four and under are successes <laughs> for you. So get six dice at four. All right, that's all of those are successes. So you uh, you shoot out a net from your compact while powdering your face here and there. Um, and the net uh, basically lands directly on a group of three guys as they begin to enter. It automatically tightens uh, as the, the bolo part of it, the, 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 the weighted balls at the, the edges of the net begin mm -hmm. to wrap around and tighten around the three. And they kind of just drop in a uh, struggling mass of uh, armed gunmen. I'm going to take a selfie real quick because like I got to shout out my sponsors. Absolutely. All right, Rusty, that leaves you and Nuke. Okay. So all this time, Nuke has been reared up on his hind legs, pretending to be a statue. And when one of the soldiers walks by, he just bucks that motherfucker and sends him flying right into that furniture I'm hiding mm -hmm. under. And then I grab the guy and pull him underneath, KO him, and I want to take his clothes. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, this is very cowboy. Um, so I'm going to say action trait four and uh, five die. Okay, five die. Clothes thief. Very cowboy. But knocking someone, <laughs> look, knocking cowboy. someone out and stealing them to like blend in is like a gunslinger cowboy -y thing. I think Adam just has a bias towards cowboys. That's just me. They're hot and I want to fuck them. Okay. Okay, sweet. I have one, two. Four successes, then. Four successes. Okay. Nuke uh, kicks the guy as he walks by. He, he was pretending to be like a Napoleon-esque statue of a horse in this uh, gaudy house that is filled with mismatched uh, decorations here and there. He, he was believable, because who would believe a, someone fit a horse into a kitchen? So yeah, when he does the hot swap from being on his back legs to being on his front legs and sends his back legs out, roaring in a punch they smack onto this guy and he goes flying across the room uh, past an oddly shaped lump of carpet and uh in front of a couch that you are hiding under rusty and you definitely grab him in and begin to punch him in the face once he is ko'd after a single hit you begin to change into spec ops gear hell yeah all right the guy who was screaming at his friend being pulled away under the carpet is going to fire into the blob, Clayton. How is he, uh, is he sure that's me that that blob is or just not the remains of his dead friend? Potentially, potentially. <laughs> uh, you're basically, you're going to do a move to avoid it. So if you want to say like you hot swapped the friend and yourself and you've moved even deeper under the house. <laughs> Then. I want to lay my <laughs> eggs in his body so it's still moving. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, wait Look, a I've, let, I've let you do a lot of a insane stuff. We are stopping there. <laughs> stopping at Impreg. We're stopping there, not doing that. Well, the guy's <laughs> dead. I'm going to just position the my newly attain, obtained carcass above me. So he's laying on me. <laughs> I see. Okay, just using him as a shield. Um, yeah. Got it. Um, give me three dice at four and under. Hey. Hey. He, That's three, right? That's three. He, uh, yeah. the, the guy screams, ah! Let's loose an entire thing until it's clips empty uh, into this 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 writhing bulge underneath the carpet that ate his friend, uh, only for the, the 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 sheer amounts of submachine gun blasts to tear enough chunks of carpet away for him to see the corpse of his friend coughing up blood. <laughs> God damn! So brutal. Bob. Bob, Bob, no, Bob! He goes to him and begins kind of trying to pull the remains of his friends out from the holes he created. As you slink away, disappearing, your 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 form, your amorphous form, moving under the rug and carpeting of the house, and as it does so, knocking over 
piles of books and knickknacks onto the floor. Nice. <laughs> <You're so stupid. laughs> I laid it eggs in bar. <laughs> you didn't lay eggs in bar. No, you uh, did it. <laughs> Maybe you took a shit on him. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't lay eggs in him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard, the guy you stabbed with the bayonet is now angling to bring his assault rifle down onto you in a melee capacity. What do you do? I take a couple steps back. I grab the broom that I was sweeping with and I ram my bayonet onto the broom end. And then I okay. use that to basically, you know, jab and thrust and block and uh, thrust again. As like a like a like a halberd or a spear, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll follow that under reenactor, and I'll give you four die. So four die. Uh, six, four, four, two. All right, that's four, five, and two. Uh, yeah, you successfully begin to fend him off as he resorts to melee. Uh, he takes swings at you, and as you back up, you fasten your bayonet to the to the end of this broom and begin uh, stabbing back at him. Uh, with your advantage in range now, he has uh, no match for you as you poke him and stab him two or three more times. He's now gurgling blood and falls down to his knees. Right. Thrust it in his chest to make sure he's dead. Ah! And he falls back. And again. Dead. You, th you thrust into a corpse. Again. You thrust into a corpse. One more um, time. You thrust into a corpse. <laughs> I feel like a narrator in one of those, uh, in like Baldur's Gate 3, where like everything's narrated. <laughs> and you can just do yeah. things over and over and over again. You thrust into a corpse. All right, Tamitha, you've netted like three guys. Uh, they're on the ground. They're struggling to get out of the net. Uh, they will probably get out of the net and or shoot you from inside the net. Oh, my God. Um, no. Uh, what are you okay. going to do? So, like, I go back to my little purse because, like, I have so many, like, uh, like great little things. Like, I don't know if you've ever read Cosmo because in Cosmo, there's, like, a whole thing. Like, what's in my bag? Honestly, they should feature me because, like, I have amazing things in my bag. <laughs> so, anyway, I go through and I'm like, hmm, what do I got? And I was thinking and it's like, I had the grappling hook. But, like, honestly, that doesn't really apply to the situation. But what I do have... I went to this like sex positive convention recently and they gave, they were giving away like this like spicy red hot like lube and honestly it had to be recalled because it like burns the hell out of your skin like it causes you to feel like you're burning from the inside out and like honestly like we can all agree that that's not like great okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like kind of go over and like just start squirting it on all of them and just being like, fuck you. Take that. All right. Uh, give me six die at four <laughs> below for uh, covering men in a net with napalm. Basically. <laughs> no spicy lube, Adam. Okay. Listen, it's, just it's spicy like lube. red hot. It was supposed to be cinnamon, but let me just tell you, it Texas is not Pete for anyone. Too much pleasure. cinnamon. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. Uh, no, you pour your 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 napalm on them and they burst into flames screaming horribly as they die yeah i think you guys have killed all of them now except for the one that ran out of ammo shooting Billy at dallas or Brad. so we're gonna, I'm just gonna go make a really quick tweet about safe sex and then i'm good <laughs> so rusty uh, as you stand up in your new disguise here you see mm -hmm. that there is one guy uh he's yep. he's panic reloading his uh submachine gun while holding his dead friend his friend's named brad right uh, bob. bob or bob bob i'm gonna pretend like i'm the guy you know that just stole his clothes and and freak out about bob too okay uh, go for it not bob no bobby and i'm gonna run to uh close to that guy and try to caress him and bob's corpse all right you're close you are <laughs> caressing the corpse <laughs> Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh, and I stab him in the throat. <laughs> All right. He's like, he's like crying. Like he, we could have just fucking done anything. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give me, <laughs> give me four dice at four. Three successes. 
and you stab him in the throat repeatedly. It doesn't kill him the first time. He's gurgling oh, as God. he goes down. His face is uh, filled with horror and terror as he realizes <laughs> that you are not his friend and you will not stop. The house becomes quiet. Aside from the sizzling men in the kitchen. And me trying to Jim Carrey my way out of the carpet. <laughs> Adam. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. You forgot there's still one left. No, you stabbed him a lot. No, there's one wearing uh, Spec Ops clothes right now. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and shit. I'm kind of in a killer mood right now, Adam. All right. Hey, take it easy. It's me. It's me. I take off my mask. I, I I gently poke him with the broom. Ow! <laughs> One more time. What the hell, man? Hey, stab it! <laughs> stab it! Is it over? Are you guys done? <laughs> I'm just sweaty and bloody. Hey guys, what's up? Did you just come out of the carpet? I did. I came out of the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can take my old clothes. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Dry yourself off. I'm just going to use them as a rag. Wait, so now, <laughs> wait, now Clayton is dressed like Rusty and Rusty. No, I'm using them as a rag. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm still naked. I got uh, blood on Jiminy's apron. Jiminy. <laughs> Ch- oh, wait, where's, uh, where's Chimney? <laughs> yeah, he's been oddly absent. <laughs> you hear groaning from the foyer. No. Oh shit. No, please. Chimney. Oh fuck. Chimney. You rush to the foyer uh, to find uh, Chibity lying on the floor. Is it Chibity or Jiminy? Chibity. Oh shit. Chibity. Oh, I thought it was Jiminy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's funny you guys <laughs> are calling him Jiminy. It is though. Chibity Crockett. <laughs> Chibity. Yeah, Not guys. Jiminy Cricket. The, 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 the <laughs> totally real name, the American name Chibity. Chibity. Okay. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> Come on. There's not a more American name than Chibity Crockett. Yeah. Um, How about Jim? Everyone knows a Chibity. No, no, no. Definitely sounds more. Did he do an ad for a Chub Rub? I don't know. What's a Chub Rub? What? <laughs> what the kinda, fuck is kind of like Chub go, Rub? It's kind of like Grub Rub. <laughs> yeah. So you pay a man to come rub your fat belly after you eat. Hey, oh, I, I love Chub Rub. <laughs> Just get a guy to massage your overly full, full belly after Thanksgiving oh, dinner. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Chub Rub sounds great. Dude, poor, poor college students will be signed up to Grubhub and Chub Rub. We'll be doing double duty. Hey, oh. I think we got a good business idea here. No! Oh. Grubhub and Chub Rub. <laughs> all right, oh. find yourself. Oh, wait, wait, find wait. your sister. Yeah, Chibity's dying. <laughs> Chibity Crock is oh, yeah, dying on the ground. <laughs> You're getting care. You're getting care. All right. Oh, um, no. Chibs. Oh, they got me. God damn it, they got me. Sorry, guys. God. Hold on, it's not too late. I'm sorry. Nuke's going to cradle his head in his hooves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet, sweet prince. And he's gonna hoof his eyes shut. Hey. Stop that. Fuck. Fuck off. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm t- he's right. Just close your eyes. No. Fucking stay away. Yes. Look, I'm trying to fucking say something here. I, I, I this house is tough. I'm, I'm yeah. trying to say something what, here. If you just shit. listen for half a second. Okay, let's just hear. Let's just hear what he's got to say. God. Yes, honey. What's up? Oh, oh God. I think I'm. I think I just popped something screaming like that. Fuck. All right. Um, you know that man, that that show that I was on, the Chippity Crockett show. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we talked. You know, about the it. the actor yeah. played to meant to play me. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was yeah, way really buffer and more handsome, more attractive. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. That that was me. That was me. Damn it. All right. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of muscle muscle mass. Wow. You okay? Oh my god. What, I, yeah. what I'm trying to tell you is <laughs> what a I'm not Chibity Crockett. <gasps> oh, well, that actually makes I'm his, your fucking house. Who the fuck are you? I'm his. 
Look, I was hired to play Chibity Crockett for this shitty amusement park, and then Chibity paid me money to be his body double. I don't, I don't know where the real Chibity Crockett is. I've been pretending to be him for twenty fucking years. Wait, so you were just getting us to do yard work because you free labor? Not I don't hoe around for any C-list celebrities. Okay, I trust <laughs> okay, you. I was apologizing if you guys were listening. I was telling you I'm sorry. <laughs> Nuke's gonna hoof his eyes again. Ah! <laughs> All right, time to go. <laughs> oh, N Noodle says, uh oh, as you hear another notification ring out from his phone. Mm. Guys, the the finals are starting. Shit! We're out. Oh of, shit! We're out of time. Oh fuck! And I didn't learn shit. It's that medium. Good.